Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ariana. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I am so excited about and you can probably guess that it's related to fall. So I'm going to be doing kind of like a fall outfit inspiration video. I think I've done something similar to this in the past. A lot of the things in this video are going to be leather because I've gone like crazy obsessed with like leather jackets, leather pants, anything that is leather I want to buy and I'm always looking for it at the thrift store, online. So yeah, I'm also really into colored leather and specifically the color green. I actually have like a green striped shirt on right now. It's, I feel like doing really weird things to the camera, but that's okay. We're gonna ignore that and I am just going to not ramble too much because I just wanna jump right into this video and show you all these outfits. I really hope it inspires you to maybe like look in your closet and find some stuff that you're excited to wear for fall. I will try and link anything that I can down below, but a lot of my closet is thrifted or vintage but not all of it, so I will definitely link the things that I can down below in the description box. And if you like this video after you watch it, obviously, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be having a lot of fun fall content coming out, and I'm just really excited about fall. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into the outfits. Okay, so this is the first look. It's honestly like my favorite look out of all of the ones that I'm going to show you, but I guess I'll kind of explain the details of it. So these pants are from Uniqlo U, and I know that these are still available, so I will definitely link these down below. My turtleneck, or I guess mock neck, is from Everlane. It's just like a plain black one. And then this jacket I got online from either like Etsy, Depop, eBay. I cannot remember, but it's like way too big on me. I'm still gonna wear it and make it work, but I wish it was just a couple sizes smaller. I'm still on the hunt for like my perfect green leather jacket. And I actually recreated this outfit from this girl that I follow on Instagram. I will pop up a picture on the screen here. She just has like the most amazing style. And she also inspired me to buy these glasses because she always wears them and it just looks so cool. And looking through these glasses is just like, everything looks better. They're from Moscot, New York City, and I love them so much. And it's kind of hard to wear them with a mask, but I make it work. And yeah, so, oh, I almost forgot. The shoes that I have on are just these black square toe Mista boots. Um, I'm really excited to wear these. I got them kind of at the end of last year, so I didn't get to like put them to use at all. I'm excited to wear them this year. This is the first outfit. I would probably wear this with like a tote bag as opposed to a purse just because I think that this jacket would overpower any of my purses because it's like so oversized. So I'd probably just wear it with this, which is still so cute. And I love this outfit so much. Anyways, yeah, we're going to move on to the next outfit, but this is by far my favorite outfit in this whole video. So. So some more colored leather. I guess this isn't really a color, it's like a caramel brown, but I'm just wearing these like cropped leather pants that Matt's mom actually gave me. Um, these were hers when she was my age. She's like, do you want them? And how can I say no? They fit me really, really nicely. As you can see, they're super high-waisted and I've been seeing a lot of brands do pants that look identical to this usually in like a faux leather so the fact that I have a real leather and vintage version makes me very very happy. love these so so much and I'm just wearing my Vagabond platform sneakers, my same Everlane turtleneck, and then this cardigan that I got from Uniqlo that I absolutely never want to take off. It is the coziest thing. And then I'd probably just wear my Fendi bag with this because I feel like the brown tones like match really well and yeah I just love this outfit and I just can't get enough of like leather items this year I don't know what my problem is but yeah we're just going to move on to the next outfit now so with this outfit I just realized I would probably put my hair up with like one of these really trendy claw clips but you kind of sort of 
get the idea I'm going for. I don't know. I just feel like it looks a lot better. Like this look with my hair up. This outfit. I am almost sure. I'm, I'm like 100% positive I have shown this outfit on camera before. But I wore this so many times last year and I'm still not over it. So this is definitely going to be on like my fall rotation of outfits. It's just this Lauren Manugian. I don't think it's a sweater dress, but that's how I wear it because it's the absolute perfect length. And it's just like this bell sleeve. Um, it's 100% cashmere sweater, sweater dress for me. And I'm just wearing it with my And Other Stories knee high boots that have a square toe to them. And these, um, I know I'm gonna wear so much this fall because I wore them so much last winter and was sad to have to put them away for the summer. So these are gonna be worn a lot by me, but this is just like a really classic outfit for me, I feel like. And I'm always like on the hunt for more Lauren Manugian pieces because they're so expensive and I look on the Real Real, Depop, and I've yet to find another one, but this, Will do for now. I always would wear it with this tote bag so I would definitely do the same this year even maybe like my Chanel but for now I think the tote bag would be really like casual and cute and yeah if it gets like too cold I would definitely throw this on with a pair of like really sheer tights and I think that, that still looks so cute. Um, even like putting a jacket over this would be nice but for the early fall time, I think this would be fine as it is. So yeah, I just, like I said, had to throw this super cozy outfit in here. These pants, they're definitely like my favorite pants that I own. Um, I've worn them so many times in so many videos. I do have a lot of like newer subscribers, so I just had to throw in these pants. And this outfit I feel like would definitely be for like a cooler fall day because this is a lot of crop top action going on. So I'm just wearing it. My cat wants to come in. I'm just wearing it with my Gucci loafers that I did get second hand, but I need to get them resold so bad. That's like embarrassing to show you the bottom of them. But they're just the ones that like fold in the back so that you can also just like slip them on your foot, which is really cute. I wear these probably like every single day, but these pants hit at like a really nice spot to wear with these shoes, I feel like. So yeah, I actually wore this to work the other day. The pants are from Pixie Market. I don't think they're available anymore because I did get them last year, but I just love buying pieces that I can wear year after year, obviously, and not just get rid of. So yeah, this top is from Urban Outfitters, but I know there's like so many similar things online. I got this probably like two years ago. So I will try and link a similar one if I can't find this one. You can probably like search it up on Depop and find it. Once again, I would probably like just toss my hair up in a little clip. And then, yeah, I just really like this outfit. And it's just something that's easy that I can throw on but still looks really smart with like the dress pants and I just love this outfit. So yeah, but definitely another early fall outfit just because of the fact that this is a very, very short skirt. It's in a houndstooth print and it's so cute. It fits me really well for it being thrifted. Um, and then I'm just wearing this Alexander Wang like cropped t-shirt and then my unique low button down that I wear too much in the fall and winter, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, and then I just have on these like chunky Oxford loafer things from And Other Stories. These are a little bit small on me, so if you wanna buy them from me, definitely message me on Instagram because I would be glad to sell them to you. They're so, so cute. They're just like half a size too small. Um, they're 38 and I'm a size eight. I think I would need like a 39 or even like a 38 and a half. I just cannot wear them for a full day like at work or even just like walking around because they are really painful on the back. But I think that they work really well with this outfit. I want like a pair of Prada or Gucci ones. I've been looking at a couple online, but I can't justify buying them until I sell these. So 
definitely messaged me if you want a pair of super cute, chunky oxfords that have probably been worn like twice. So yeah, I really like this outfit, but probably would only be able to wear it on like a really warm day in the fall, like definitely September, early October. So this next outfit is one of my favorites and also one of the coziest. So it's just this Free People cashmere sweater and I'm just wearing a like cost t-shirt underneath it because it's a little bit see-through. <laughs> my cat just fell off the table. Um, it's a little bit see-through and I just like how you can like see the shirt underneath at the top and I just have my necklaces that I wear like every single day and the same Uniqlo pants that I had on before which work really well with everything. I had these like tucked away in a drawer somewhere and then forgot I bought them and the other day rediscovered them so I have been wearing them non-stop and then I just have on the and other stories like loafer, oxford things again because I feel like it makes it look very cute, very fall and it looks really nice with these pants at the bottom. Yeah, I'm really nervous that I'm going to ruin this sweater because it's such a light color and it's cashmere and I feel like cashmere just gets like holes in it, can get snagged really easily so I have to be like super careful when I wear this but for now we're all good. I basically like wearing everything with these glasses just because it adds a very, very slight pop of color to a really neutral outfit, which is nice because I need some color in my life and I just love these glasses. I'm not gonna shut up about them. I'm, you're probably gonna see them in like millions of videos after this, but I really, really like this outfit and I cannot wait to wear it all the time. Okay, so this next look is, I know I keep saying each look is my favorite, but like I am so obsessed with this outfit. Um, I'm just wearing, same as before, the cost t-shirt that I just had on, and then I'm wearing this leather blazer shirt jacket thing that I showed in a thrift haul, maybe my last one, or like the one before that, and I've already worn this to work, even though it's like just beginning to be September, but I love it. I'm just wearing it with my little square toe boots again from Mista, and I just love this. My jeans are from And Other Stories. I don't think I mentioned that. But these are like my go-to everyday jeans. I just always am throwing these on. They're, they're amazing. And I keep trying to buy them in black, but they're sold out on ASOS and also on And Other Stories. So I keep checking in to see if maybe someone like returned a pair, but it's not happening. So I just need a size 26 to come back in stock. That would be ideal. I would probably also wear this with my yellow glasses, but I left them in the other room and I am too lazy to go get them, so just envision it for now, but I just love this so much. I put my hair in like a half up, half down with this clip. It's a smaller version of the other one and it's like a matte texture as opposed to the shiny one. So yeah, this is like my classic favorite outfit. And yeah, we have one more after this. So this last look is definitely a more like going out at night kind of a look or like going out to dinner look. But I am basically just wearing my And Other Stories knee high boots again. As you can see, I like re-wear a lot of the outfits in my closet because I do like to actually use the things that I own. So that's why I'm just like changing a couple things about the outfit, but like a lot of it is the same. So I also have on the leather blazer again. And then I'm wearing this dress that I actually just got. It's from Uniqlo. It's not from Uniqlo. It's from Everlane and it just has this square neckline. It's so cute. And um, it's made out of like a stretchy t-shirt material. So it's like the most comfortable thing ever. And it's like a really good length to wear with these boots. I just think it's so cute. And then I actually had on this bag and filmed this whole thing. And then I didn't like how the gold looked with this outfit. Um, I think it's more of like a cool toned look. So this one is definitely cute, but not for this look. So I just went and grabbed my Chanel bag because I just think it also goes with like the dark vibes of the outfit. It has both hardware colors, so um, 
I think this works a lot better with the look, and I'm glad that I switched because it's very cute, and I might even like wear this on my birthday. My birthday is October 19th, so I'm turning 21, and I'm really excited. The train's going by, of course, but yeah, that is the final look. That's pretty much it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and maybe even took some inspiration from all of my outfits because I had so much fun like playing around in my closet and putting together looks that I know that I can wear and will actually wear in the fall time when the weather gets a little bit cooler. So yeah, thank you so much for listening to me talk. I feel like this video might have been a little bit long just based on how long I've been filming for, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can look in your closets and feel inspired to make outfits now and yeah, I hope you're all just as excited about fall as I am. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I have a lot of fun videos coming out in the future. I'm doing a thrift swap with a friend here on YouTube, Holly, and you guys probably know um, her YouTube is The Sweetest Peach. I'll have it linked down below. But yeah, I have that coming out soon. I'm still trying to like pick some pieces for it, but I just have a lot of fun stuff coming up. So subscribe if you want to be a part of that. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.